Hey, what's happening guys? Mike here. Listen, I did a quick little public service announcement about your economic impact card or basically your stimulus check. So this year, if you haven't received it in direct deposit already, don't expect the check. You're going to get a card. It's going to look exactly like this. This is a debit card except with your name and your own unique number. They put you in whatever your stimulus check that you qualify for in here. In most cases, in many people, it is 600 US dollars. This is precisely the card that you are looking for. It is by Metabank and it will come in an envelope that looks exactly like this. So you see this right here. It tells you that this is not a bill, right? Don't cut it up. My mom received hers and she already cut it up halfway. I Luckily, it wasn't all the way. I put tape on it. I was able to activate the card for her and get all the money out. This is a one time use card. They're not going to reload it. So after you finish using it, you can feel free to cut it up, destroy it, whatever it is that you want. Now, this is going to be very important because if you did not receive your stimulus check yet, there is a website that you can go to to enter in your information, your parents information, your grandparents information. Anybody who uh, has not received it, they can go in there and find out whether or not something was actually sent and when it was sent. And if you didn't receive it, maybe it got lost in mail, got stolen, anything like that could happen. You can then contact the 800 number in order to get more information about that. Now, inside this letter, it will let you know about how to go ahead and activate your card, about um, the fees that are associated with using this card. And when I first got my card and I got it, uh, I think I got it early January, but I wasn't in town. I was over in Hawaii. It basically sends you all this information over here. And if you want to see the fee schedule, it's all the way in the back over here to let you know what some of the fees are. I've never received a debit card like this before. And when I stuck it into the ATM, what I did was it, it automatically pops up to ask if you want to check your balance. And I just go ahead and said yes and continue. Now, the fee here says ATM balance inquiry is 25 cents each. So I wasn't able to extract the full $600 from my debit card and I'm left with $19.75. So watch out for that. Don't look for the balance. You know how much is in there because this will actually tell you when you activate your card and how you get your money. Well, there's many different ways you can do it. Uh, apparently, you can transfer to a personal bank account, which is one way to do it. If you prefer cash, you can go to a bank branch and do that. They may or may not charge fees in there. If you want it completely fee free, there is a surcharge free ATM uh, listing and map that is located on the website itself on eipcard.com. That's the official site. So you can go there and get your money out. Some popular places you can get it out for free is uh, Target. All right, you look for the Capital One uh, ATM and you can go to CVS. It has to say All Point, or you can go to uh, Costco, which is a city bank, but also um, part of the All Point network. This is not listed on here, which is pretty interesting. You see, you can, you can get your money out from any of these locations. Some of these will charge you a fee depending on whatever ATM that you have. So look for the surcharge free options in order to get it. Now, if you didn't get your card, you can call the customer service at 800-240-8100 or you can go to eipcard.com for instructions. And uh, if you need to change your pin, that's also where you go to do it as well. Now, luckily, um, this card was cut part way and I was able to tape it and stick it in and activate the card. You have the call phone number and verify your details in order to get that and you'll set a pin. Now using that pin, then of course you can then use it, purchase anything that you want wherever Visa is accepted or any of these places down here is accepted. So again, please look out for that card. Don't cut it up. If you do, it's not the end of the world. You can call the number, but they'll want you to verify that your information. If you really want to check to see whether or not it got sent out to you, then um, check out the website link down below where you can enter your information and find out when, how much got sent to you and you know whether or not you should expect it or whether or not there's some delays. Because the government is, of course, obviously a little bit backlogged in all this. Now, all this information is going to be important also for the next round of stimulus payments. If there is going to be one coming this year with President Biden on board, I've heard rumors that maybe they will be doing a recurring payment all the way until the pandemic's over. That would be pretty awesome. And I think that's what a lot of people actually need right now during this pandemic when you can't actually work or maybe the businesses that you worked at were shut down for various reasons. Uh, I know over here in California, it's pretty bad. And yeah, so if that's the case, then they will likely be sending out a new one of these. You can then go ahead and toss your old one. 
and it'll be the same process of procedure or they will directly fund it directly into your checking account if that's how you paid your taxes or got your refund. All right, please give this a like, share to people who you think this would help and uh, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.